Well, welcome to another episode of It's Not a Lecture, Just a Thought. And um, those of you who watch the channel regularly may have noticed that I haven't uploaded anything for a while. Uh, in fact, since the last video I did uh, around uh, the, the, the three great crises that we face from Hartmut Rose's book, uh, you'll find a link to that uh, in the description below. But yeah, it's been a very, very busy time. And in part, that's because of the way in which the academic year is structured in South Africa. Um, our academic year runs more or less uh, the same as the, the, the actual chronological year. So we begin normally in uh, late January or February and we run through to December and so we began our second semester for the year um, at the end of July, beginning of August and of course because of uh, coronavirus restrictions and uh, relatively low vaccination rates and the Delta variant it's been quite a challenge to make sure that all of the staff and students are safe, that teaching and learning can go ahead and um, yeah, we've been doing quite well actually. We have had some colleagues who've been ill and uh, some students who've been ill and had to isolate. But I'm grateful to say on the whole, everyone's recovered and doing well. Um, I myself have had uh, my two Pfizer vaccinations. I had my second one last week. And that does give a great sense of, of security at least, uh, some measure of, of comfort and, and protection when you're working so closely with people and uh, many of our students are now able to be vaccinated since uh, the South African government lowered the the age uh, from those who were uh, first over 65 or 60 I think initially and then uh, those over 40 and then uh, eventually those over 18 could be vaccinated so many of our students have had their shots as well. But of course it's also been a busy time. Um, this time of the year uh, there are doctoral defences and I had two students who defended their dissertations. Um, the first of them being my uh, colleague Basilius Casero, who teaches at the University of Namibia. He wrote a great dissertation on uh, concepts of justice, contextualised concepts of justice for a post-apartheid Namibia. And he engaged the work of uh, Alan Busak, very famous uh, black uh, South African theologian of liberation. And then the other student who, who defended his research was my colleague Bishop Zachariah Maniok, who is um, a, a, a bishop from South Sudan. And he wrote on Article 8 of the South Sudanese Constitution and looking at, um, at a sort of central value system. It was a study in at the intersections of religion and law, particularly uh, theological ethics and he looked at this notion of a central value system and uh, what opportunities and also challenges that creates for freedom of religion in South Sudan. I'm so proud of both of them. They will graduate uh, with their PhDs in, in December. Then of course there's been my own research. Um, I've had a number of writing deadlines due, uh, chapters for books. Um, I wrote something for a book on reconciliation and justice in which we, we looked uh, once again at, at the problematic notions of forgiveness that are used, sort of thin, inadequate concepts of forgiveness that are used very often by religious persons in South Africa, and really advocated for the notion that a true concept of forgiveness must be forgiveness that is coupled to justice. Um, without that, it, it can't be true Christian or biblical forgiveness. Um, I wrote something as a feshgriff for a colleague of mine in Sweden um, in which we looked uh, very specifically at uh, the notions of meritocracy. You would have seen a video I made on, on some of that. Um, I've written some stuff, uh, for, uh, wrote for a feshgriff uh, for a colleague of mine, uh, Professor Wenzel van Heistien, who was a professor at Princeton Theological Seminary. And, and my first doctorate actually began as a conversation with Professor van Heistien uh, Professor Dirky Smith and uh, Professor Aarons Conradi back in, uh, I think it was in 2000, here at the University of Stellenbosch, I was beginning that project. And they were the ones who sort of set me on my way. And uh, it was out of that that I, I did that, uh, that first PhD, which dealt with African relational ontology and intersubjective notions of identity in African theology and how uh, people are formed, our truest identity is formed very much in the ways in which we think uh, about Trinitarian theology uh, by being 
persons who are in relationship, whose, whose primary identity is intersubjective, it's relational. So I wrote something on Wenzel van Heistien's post-foundationalist uh, the theology and uh, the contribution that an African notion of identity uh, can make to our understandings of identity and consciousness. There were a couple of other things that I wrote, something on public theology and the new normal in Africa and the, the sort of premise of the article was to ask has there ever been something called the normal in South Africa and I used uh, Achille Mbembe's notion of the effect uh, of, of African existence being being something which has always been dealt with irrationally, that, that Africa in some senses in, in the historical consciousness was created uh, in relation to the whitening gaze, black bodies, uh, black identity, the value of, of Africa and Africans was created from a Western gaze and, and asking the question whether um, what we've seen with coronavirus, vaccine inequality, um, the hoarding of vaccines in the West and the ways in which governments have responded to this, this crisis, not primarily as a humanitarian concern but very often as, as an economic and political concern, whether that doesn't once again cement uh, for us and show us that, that there is still a measure of Afrophobia, Afro-pessimism and of course racism and xenophobia in, in the world, uh, in global policy and in global ethics and, and even in the churches, you know, just the silence of churches in the West uh, in dealing with things like vaccine inequality. The more astute viewers may uh, notice that I'm sitting in a new office. I moved offices during this time. We were very grateful that we have two new colleagues who joined us, Ashwin Tyson, who is uh, teaching uh, religion, uh, 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 church polity and, uh, and church order, um, working in the areas of religion and law, a really gifted colleague. We are so grateful for him. And Liesl Hubert, who is uh, a church historian, archival church historian, who works in the archives and has a, a wonderful, wonderful uh, research record in spirituality and, and also in the untold stories of women uh, in historical missions. You know, very often it was the missionary who got valorized in history and uh, the forgetting of, of those, uh, you know, wives, daughters, prominent women who, who made so much. So uh, Liesel is in my, own, my old office and I'm sitting in this office, which once was uh, the office of Professor Mary Ann Pleikis van Huffel, my colleague, who passed away last year, uh, sadly. And before her, Dirkie Smit um, was in here and before that, Willy Jonker. So this is a very precious space. I feel small in it, but uh, it's a wonderful place to be. And I'm amongst my colleagues here uh, upstairs, so it is a great gift. Well, I just wanted to give you a quick little update, uh, just to say I am still around. Uh, I'll be posting some more as things get a little bit easier. Uh, towards the end of the year. We're coming towards the end of winter. Uh, the, the buds of spring are beginning to show. Tomorrow is the 1st of September, but our winter in Cape Town does last a little bit longer. Sometimes into November we can still get quite cold weather, occasionally with a bit of snow on the mountains. But there is hope. Summer is coming and uh, as things lighten I'll be posting a little bit more. So I'd love to hear how are you doing? Uh, are you doing okay? I know many of my students who watch these vlogs, you're under pressure, assignments, tests, exams, all of the best with that and uh, just keep going. And for everyone else who watches, wherever you're from, I'd love to hear from you. How are you doing? Uh, how are things going for you? I hope that you're safe and well. And it'll be great just to, to stay in contact with you. So thanks for watching uh, this video. You can remain in contact with me as always. Leave uh, a comment in the show notes uh, down below in the, in the comment section. Connect with me on Twitter or Instagram at Digital Dion or Dion A. Foster on Facebook on my website dionfoster.com. And uh, take a look at our podcast, 92 episodes of reading through the Bible from the perspectives of justice and peace that my colleague Alan Story and I did. That, that's been getting some great, great feedback. And if you find it useful, the link to that will be in the show notes. So thanks for watching.